Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. I'm very excited to bring you the second and decisive leg of this tie. It's Coventry City, and they face Middlesbrough. Well, what a game this promises to be, Derek. An early goal here, and these fans will be buzzing. But I just think this could go right to the wire today. Number 13, Ben Sheath. Number 38, Gustavo Hamer. Number 24, Matt Gunner. And number 17, Victor Gael Keres. The line up then for the hosts. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five. But I think the wing-backs will have licence to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. A look at the starting 11 for Middlesbrough. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Take it away. Bomb. Real chance. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Corner kick played in, but he dealt with that ball played in rather well. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Bidwell Ben Sheaf Gordon Very quick thinking there Johnny Housen How about the cross? That's excellent defending following the cross. Doyle. Chief. Eccles. Bad pass. And teammates around him. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Oh, in with a chance! And saved by the keeper. Well, as it stands, they're on their way out. But a goal here would change everything. 
Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? And over comes the corner. Well, no problems defensively. Gustavo Hammer. It's there for him. Didn't fool the keeper. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. So the corner played into the box. And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. As far as the aggregate score is concerned, 1-1. Back bomb. Archer. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Bidwell. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Well, the supporters think it's on. So, the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Well, they have the ball once more. And he has options available. Is it going to be? Well, he hit it with authority. Close. I must say, this looks promising. Putting his body on the line. They've lost it. Now oh, that's a well-timed pass. And just over the bar, really good effort. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. To be replaced by number eight, Riley McGuinn. Jake Bidwell. Eccles. Really good interception.
and into the last 20 minutes. Archer, Akbom, strong but fair tackle. Chief, Gustavo Hammer, and play halted, free kick given. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Delivered into the box. Ten minutes left for play. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, it fizzled out. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. And time for the change now. Chief. Maguire with it. Being egged on by the crowd. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Well, could this be the moment to see them through? Not much time left now. And the short option preferred. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Making a bit of headway. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. So back in business here, the first period of extra time, and it might well come down to mental fortitude. Who wants this more? Surely! Oh, good save. Well, it's such a close contest. Will a set play be the difference? Let's see about the delivery. Not the best clearance. And still looking for space. The save was a good one. Well, what a magnificent save that was. It really was top-class goalkeeping. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Can he take the chance? Well, that's it for the first period of extra time. Let's see what the second has in store.
And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. Another textbook interception. And beating the defender. Well then there to tidy up. Fancati Dabo. Can they nudge in front late on here? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Chance here. Oh, it's gone in! And that could be the goal that wraps it up once and for all. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Two one is the aggregate lead. And the countdown continues. Just one minute left in the second period of extra time. A very timely interception. There's the final whistle. The travelling fans are full of the joys because they are moving on. Well, it's certainly been a tight contest over the two legs. But in the end, they were just about the more ambitious of the two teams in extra time. And for that reason, I think they deserve to progress.